Hi guys, it's Otto here from Tron.com and today I'm going to show you how to program the Alero Roll Motion 868 motor with the remote control. So we're going to pair the remote control and we're going to set the end limits. So let's go! Alright, so the first thing you need to do is put the motor in programming mode. And that's done by interrupting the power and plugging the power back in. So I'm going to do that now and only need a few seconds. If you already had your mo motor off power, on you only need to plug it in, that's all. So now I have about five minutes to program the remote, set the end limits, etc. So I'm going to start with programming the remote. I'm going to take my screwdriver and open the back of the remote so I can get access to the PROG button or the PROGRAM button. And that's the button that's located on this side. So when you turn it around, it's this side. And all I need to do now is press the button until the motor starts moving. So now it starts moving up and down. And what I need to do is match the movement of the motor with a button. So when I see go up, I press up. When I see go down, I press down again. I've done that now. And now you've seen that the motor stopped moving. And that means that both, uh, both the directions have been set and the, mo the remote control has been paired. So that's phase one. What I need to do now is set the end limits. With the roll motion, the first limit that you need to set is the upper limit. So I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to move the motor up until the up position. So I'm going to press up until I reach that position. And I can always release the button to stop the motor from moving. So I'm going to position it till it's about right. And then what I need to do is, once I've reached the right uh, position, I'm going to press the reverse direction to set the end limit. I'm going to keep holding that button, the motor will stop moving, and then will stop by itself, and then I can release the button. So I'll do that now. Press down, motor starts moving, keep holding it until it stops. So now the upper limit has been set. I'm going to test that, because the motor is quite sensitive, so it's possible that you've already set the um, lower um, end position. And I'm going to check that by pressing up or down shortly. So I'm going to press down. And what I can see is that the motor immediately stops moving. If you've accidentally already set the lower position, the motor will roll down to the lower position and then you need to start over again. I'm going to make a different video to show you how that's done, but you need to reset the end limits and set them again. For now we can continue. So what I need to do is keep pressing the down button until the motor is in its lowest position. Another thing that you need to keep in mind is that sometimes the direction is reversed. So that means that when you press down, the motor goes up and vice versa. You need to continue with the movements and just keep doing the wrong thing basically. So pressing up to go down and down to go up. And the motor will automatically correct itself once the upper and lower limits have been set. So if that happens, it's not a problem. Just continue by using the buttons in the wrong direction until the motor's positions have been set and then it will automatically sort itself out. For now, I can continue with setting the lowest position. What I've done is press the, low, the, the down button until it reached this position. So what I need to do now is press the up button. Again, keep holding it until the motor stops by itself and release the button when it stops. And that's it. I'm going to test that now to make sure that everything's working as it should. And as you can see, the motor starts traveling up and will automatically slow down at the end, because that's one of the functions of the roll motion, and then stop fully at the limit that has been set. So I can check in my monitor and see it's slowing down already, and it has stopped at the position that we programmed. And that's it, programming a Lero roll motion 868 motor. If you have any questions about that, if you need more information, or want to let me know anything else, you can send an email to info at tron.com. You can also leave a comment below the video. And for now, in any case, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.